I am Kate Morell from the Cleveland Vibrator Company, and this video is about how vibratory feeders cause material to move down the tray of the vibratory feeder. This is a picture of a very basic standard design of vibratory feeder produced by Cleveland Vibrator. The tray or trough subassembly of the feeder is the most important part, so this is a drawing of just that part. If we turn it sideways, it looks like this. The most important part of this subassembly is the dual vibratory motors, and that's what you see here flashing. The motors produce linear vibration in the direction shown. But since the motors are bolted up to the tray, the entire subassembly moves in that direction like this. So what does that motion do to the things that are in the tray of the vibratory feeder? Well, in a really slow, exaggerated motion, that looks like this. You can see the blue ball is being tossed up and forward and bounces its way down the feeder tray and off the edge. If you were to map out the motion of the ball, it would look sort of like this. The same thing happens with multiple particles, and even particles of different shapes and sizes. All right, now that we've seen how that motion looks in an animation, let's see how it actually looks in real life with these big scrap chunks of wood. Shred, the motion gets even smaller and it looks more and more like just a constant steady stream of material. about how vibratory feeders or any other vibratory equipment works, please feel free to email us at sales at clevelandvibrator.com or visit our website and the link is going to be in the post. Thanks!